Ahmad, Bradley, Bradley, and Anthony. They had probably like the best breakout session that I've been in in a couple of weeks. Um, yesterday, they were discussing the text, they were annotating, they were giving each other feedback, agreeing and disagreeing every single time one of them made a statement. You guys did an amazing job with that dialogue and using your time wisely in breakout rooms. I want everyone should be aiming for Hamad, Bradley, Anthony's kind of discussion that they had in breakout rooms. That should be everybody's goal for the rest of our time in online learning. All right, so today we are continuing our unit Native America and Colonization. So let's start off with our RTL. So before we even get to our learning target, let's actually look at the RTL. You were asked to do a C, a C think wonder routine. Okay, a C think wonder routine. This is a routine we're gonna use pretty often in social studies. It's when we jot down what we see, usually five to six details. We write down what we think is happening in the photo or image. And then finally, we create, create questions, create wonderings based on what we see in the image. Now your classmates this morning did a fantastic job filling in their RTLs. And the reason it's important guys is because understanding or thinking about that RTL really helps set up our learning target. So let's take a look at the RTL, even if you haven't done it yet. I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so as part of our RTL, the first, the first question or the first part of our RTL is to jot down at least six details we see in this painting. This painting <clears throat> is called The Encounter Between Columbus and Taino. The Taino are the indigenous people of the Caribbean. Indigenous is another word for native. Someone who is indigenous had ancestors who were first to live on a certain land. So let's take a closer look at this image and find as many details as we can. And that will be easy in this video because I already have so many good ideas from your classmates this morning. So your classmates this morning pointed out a couple of really interesting things. Number one, the Europeans, um, they made the inference, they thought that these might be Europeans because their skin is really white, absolutely. They also noticed they also noticed that the people in the bottom right corner, who many people inferred or thought were Native Americans, are holding some kind of gold or perhaps some kind of gift. Some kind of gift. People also noticed the ships in the background, that there were multiple ships in the background. People noticed that this looks like an island because it's got a shoreline, it's next to the water. People also noticed that the Europeans are carrying swords. If you look closely, they're actually carrying swords and spears. Kahari pointed that out for us, which was a great noticing. Furthermore, people noticed that there are men in the background who look like they're planting a cross, a Christian cross, into the ground. So your classmates made these amazing, amazing uh, in or they noticed these amazing, amazing details this morning. After your classmates noticed these amazing, amazing details, they started thinking about what might be going on in the photo. So people um, thought maybe they're trading. Taekwon thought perhaps they're trading. Mark added to Taekwon's thought and thought maybe the people in the bottom right are somehow welcoming the Europeans. The home made the inference that these are Europeans coming to take over land. They're trying to take over. Ibrahim made the comment that perhaps they're trying to, perhaps the Europeans, Europeans are bringing Christianity because of that cross in the corner. Bring Christianity. Okay, so we can make a number of inferences about what the interaction between natives and Europeans were like when colonization first begun. We can also formulate questions based on the evidence that we have of this encounter, of this meeting between Native Americans and European colonizers. Excuse me. 
we can also come up with questions. We're not gonna do it in the video just to save time, but please make sure that on your RTL, you are coming up with questions that you have about this encounter, about this meeting between Europeans and the Taino people, the native community of this island. Our job today, or in the activity we're going to do today, we are going to study this encounter. We are going to study this meeting of Europeans and native communities. So with that, let's get to the learning target. I will be able to compare competing perspectives on colonization. So first, let's review this word colonization quickly. We know it ends with an ization. Ization words, we've said multiple times, mean a process. It's the process of doing something. In the case of colonization, the process of taking over land slash people. Okay, so we are familiar, we know that Europeans began the process of colonizing, of colonization, and that Europeans colonized North and South America. Our learning target today is to be able to compare perspectives, meaning points of view, on colonization based on, da -da -da -da, based on the photo we just observed, your classmates were able to infer that the two perspectives we're going to be comparing are the perspectives of Europeans and Native Americans. Okay. So you're actually going to be reading diary entries from Christopher Columbus, a European, and what would be a diary entry from the Taino community, which is the first community Columbus ever encountered, Columbus ever met. Excuse me. Before I show you how you are actually going to go about comparing these two groups' diary entries, I want to first show you a video that really makes us think about the importance of perspective. Just a quick heads up that this video does have some cursing in it, so I'm going to skip through the part where there is cursing. Um, so there might be that little awkward skip. That's why. Oh. Evil. Pure evil. Invader. He got lost coming here, and he's the one that named us Indians because he thought he was in India. So he's he's not a good figure to a native community. Confused. <laughs> I don't think we should have a holiday for it. <laughs> Kane claiming North America is, is like land that could be claimed and could be taken. It's the start of a lot of pain. Christopher Columbus. Mm. Uh, I guess ignorance. About murder, witness, genocide. The atrocities committed just quote and the scars are still felt today. Evil, evil. First terrorist in America, that's for sure. It's according to the U.S. government law, this is if you partake in somebody that's stealing, you get just as guilty. Everybody knows the United States is swear. So therefore, all those that are rich, rich and all, that knows about the genocide, the rape, the murders, the theft, the putting on the reservations on the rock that they couldn't survive on, they're going to have to be judgment. Murderer, um, rapist. It always was weird to me to have that day off in celebration of somebody like, you don't have a day for Hitler, but it's, you know, it's the same thing. Like, like there, there are so many other people that Italian Americans are Italians and hold the best, they're heroes. This one's Columbus. We're all fake. Fake. They teach us that Christopher Columbus discovered America. What should I teach? 
that Christopher Columbus didn't discover anything and instead got lost. So I think that video really reminds us that perspective is important. So today we're going to study different perspectives, competing perspectives on colonization. So we're going to start by reading through the historical context just to get our mindset and then jump in two directions. Historical context. Historians have broken the motivations for European colonization into three categories. God, gold, glory. God, because Europeans wanted to spread Christianity. Gold, because Europeans hoped to find sources of gold, spices, metals, and other resources that would make them wealthy. And glory, because European countries all wanted to be the first to discover new places. Directions. In this activity, you will read passages from Columbus's personal diary. You will also read parts of a fictional book called Encounter, which represents what Columbus's arrival may have looked like from the perspective of the Taino people. Columbus is not even the first European explorer to reach the Americas, but he is the most infamous, famous for a bad reason. Your job is to compare Columbus's perspective with the Taino perspective. You're completing this chart for three text sets. So the text sets are found by clicking on the link that says each text set can be found by clicking on this link and then it gives you the link. So click on that link and you'll see that you have access to different text sets. So each one of these is a different text set. On one side of each text set, you have Columbus's diary. On the other side in each text set, you have the perspective of a Taino person. Your job is to fill in one row of your graphic organizer for each text set. So for text set A, in the first column, answer the question, Based on the action described in the text and the language Columbus uses, how does Columbus view the Taino community? And then in the second column, in the second column, you're answering the question based on the action described in the text and the language the speaker uses, how do the Taino view Columbus and the European colonizers? So answer the first question after reading Columbus's diary. After you read Columbus's diary, you can answer the first question in your graphic organizer. After you read the second, after you read the second text, the Taino perspective, then you'll be able to answer the second question in your graphic organizer. You must complete three rows. You have options, A through E. Complete three text sets. 